Meteorologist Carson Meredith joins us now. And Carson, people, they're going to want to keep that rain gear nearby for later on today. And not just today, but also for the next seven days. Unfortunately, we have a lot of moisture in North Alabama. That air you can wear, humidity that we're so used to seeing during the summer months. Well, just that friendly reminder, we are still technically in summer. And the summertime pattern, unfortunately, not going anywhere anytime soon. Let's show you what's happening right now on the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. By and large, we're all pretty dry right now. It's very gloomy out there. Temperatures are comfortable in the mid to upper 70s. All I'm seeing right now here in North Alabama is one light shower close to Henniger right there on the DeKalb and Jackson County line. However, as the afternoon progresses, I do expect more thunderstorms to develop a lot like we saw yesterday, except that coverage will be a bit higher today east of I-65 as opposed to west of I-65 like we did see yesterday. Let's give you that wide view. North Alabama is kind of stuck in the middle of two weather features right now. you got a cold front off to our north across Indiana, Illinois, stretching into Missouri and Oklahoma. That front is going to to stall out before it gets to North Alabama. You also got a line of showers and thunderstorms has produced some flash flood warnings in parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. And down at the bottom of your screen, that low pressure, that is what's left of what was Hurricane Nicholas, now downgraded to a tropical depression. You can see all that heavy rainfall from Nicholas in southern Mississippi, southern Alabama as well, basically south of Birmingham. And while the heaviest rain from Nicholas will stay south of our area, we'll still have plenty of moisture here in North Alabama from that cold front that's going to stall out and what's left of Nicholas to keep those daily chances for those pop-up showers storms going for quite some time. There's your breakdown over the next five days. It's a 50 50 shot today. Just a touch less widespread coverage on Thursday at 40%. The wettest days over the next seven days. That's going to be Friday. We'll have to watch that closely for Friday night football and then again next Monday as well. There's a look at the way 31 Skycam network right now. A very gloomy picture out there. That's for sure. 76 here in the Rocket City, 78 in Decatur, 74 in Guntersville this morning, and it's also 78 degrees with maybe a little bit of sunshine peeking through the clouds in Muscle Shoals. So here's Here's future radar again. It's going to be that on again, off again shower and thunderstorm activity this afternoon. Note the time here, one o'clock. The best chances today, like I mentioned a moment ago, going to be east of I-65. See a downpour according to this data source right over Madison County around one o'clock this afternoon. That coverage continues to go through four o'clock tonight, heading towards the Trash Pandas game at 6:35 tonight. I think it's going to be a lot like last night. We should be able to get nine innings of baseball in tonight, but it's not impossible to see a weather delay. Sun goes down, we start to lose that coverage of those showers and storms by 10 p.m. this evening, but we. We can still see some additional showers and storms overnight tonight and throughout the entire day on your Thursday as well. A very active pattern, not going anywhere anytime soon. Here's the long term future radar. There's Friday night at 7 o'clock, right around kickoff time for a lot of those high school football games. Might be a wet one out there Friday night football. We'll keep a close eye on that forecast. And by the time we get to early next week, a new system develops down to our south across the Mississippi River, and that ushers in much more widespread rainfall here at home as we get towards next Monday and possibly next Tuesday as well. Thankfully, I'm not too concerned concerned about flooding, but most of us are going to see upwards of one inch of rain over the next seven days. Again, the heavier rainfall amounts will stay along the coast where those folks in southern Mississippi, southern Alabama could see upwards of four to eight inches of rain as we go through the next seven days. Bottom line, just keep that umbrella nearby. There's your seven day forecast. Only 80 degrees today. Actually, most spots are going to wind up in the upper 70s. Those daily chances sticking around all the way through early next week. But the good news is those temperatures will stay fairly comfortable in the mid 80s.